Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. I'm really excited for today's video. I'll be sharing 10 things I am not buying in 2024. I made a similar video like this last year. I just feel like these type of videos really just teaches you discipline. It just helps you stop buying so impulsively and it holds you accountable. And plus, I am trying to be really specific about my financial goal in 2024. So this actually helps, but without further ado, let me share my list with you. The first thing I am not going to be buying in 2024 is fast food. Hold up. Wait a minute. I am not cutting it off cold turkey, but I have mentioned before that I'm not the greatest cook or sometimes I just don't want to cook. So I am a fast food spender. But it is a habit I am determined to break. Number one for my health. I just, I've become really health conscious and also financially. Fast food is expensive. It is no longer the cheaper alternative anymore. So I think it's just based to, you know, make snacks at home or get creative and make food at home number two is alcohol now i'm not morally opposed to it i know that a lot of christians have their own opinions when it comes to it but me i don't think that drinking a glass of wine is this huge sin however again for me for my life i don't think that alcohol adds any value to my life plus i don't crave it anymore and i know there's this huge bar card right behind me and that's because people that are connected to me still drink alcohol and i am totally cool with it like celebratory moments i am fine like i drank non-alcoholic wine on christmas and on new year's i drank non-alcoholic champagne i'm good with it and you know what it's so interesting to see how much money you save from cutting back from alcohol so that is something i totally cut off i've been watching a lot of um youtubers that are making like mocktails and i'm quite interested in doing that and it's inexpensive so i'm good with mocktails and non-alcoholic wine non-alcoholic champagne don't hate me for this third one but stanley cup please educate me of the importance of this cup like it's just so expensive that is one item i will not be purchasing in 2024 unless someone tells me it heals it cures and it makes things happen then i will consider it for 2025 i think it's just like a trendy kind of thing i also think like people hop on trends but yeah i don't know speaking of trendy things i am not buying things just because everyone else is buying it i used to have such fomo and thank god i grew out of it i think it's just such a waste of money to buy something just because someone else has it unless you really like it to each their own you know to each their own and books oh i am still on a book buying ban guys oh I'm still not buying any new books, but I am so lucky because a few of my friends really do love similar books that I love and also I am getting through my TBR, so it's not that big of a deal. Like, I would rather do that than keep buying books impulsively and wasting money like that, <laughs> like before, but it's cool. <laughs> I think I'm fine. I'm good. Number six, buying coffee. I've mentioned before that I am a coffee crackhead, but I have been doing better though. So much better. Like I've been savoring my one cup of coffee in the morning. I haven't been ordering Starbucks. I haven't popped into Starbucks and I haven't gone through the McDonald's drive through to get a cup of coffee like I used to. So I'm on a good track and I would like to keep it that way. Next up is subscriptions. I feel like in this world, we have so many things to subscribe to. Like, but hear me out. Like if I'm already subscribed to something like Netflix, why am I gonna want to subscribe to things like Peacock or Hulu or like Showmax and things like that? I feel like it's unnecessary, I guess because different shows, um, like Only Murders in a Building is on Hulu and maybe someone would like to watch that, I don't know. I'm not going to be subscribing to different networks to watch a show, but to each their own though, I just, it's so much money just to be subscribed to so many networks and these things like 
AI, these things like face apps. There's just so many things to be subscribed to that I won't be participating, but again, to each their own. The next thing I am not buying is hobby supplies. You know, when you get so excited for a hobby that you're interested in and you wanna go all in on it, and invest in it and then a year later you're over it and all the things you bought which may have been expensive is just clutter now yeah i'm not doing that i think don't invest until you really know you like something next up is low quality items i don't want to buy cheap variations of something instead i think i will save up and get that very thing that i wanted that will actually last and the last one is still i won't buy anything i can't afford i still don't understand why people put themselves in deep debt to just look a certain way to the outside world it's such a stressful way to live and i don't want anybody to live like that be very mindful of your credit cards don't let it fool you we have reached the end of this video guys we are done i hope i didn't come off too cheeky and made it seem like because i'm not buying it this year you better not either because no that's not even how i am like even if you want to buy the stanley cup get your life like buy it and then tell me why it's so cool to have a stand cup i'm not saying that because i don't want to buy this you better not either i don't even think like that but thank you so much for watching this video and if you're new here of course i will ask because i want you around please subscribe to my channel i would love to have you here and i would love to see you on my next video thank you so much guys